The third edition of the highly anticipated Eurasia Cup is scheduled for January 2018. Team Europe's captain, Thomas Bjorn, who takes the match play challenge very seriously, made his way to Kuala Lumpur this month to survey the battleground. The Dane was part of the European contingent in the inaugural staging of the event, which led to a draw with the Asian team. Having played in the Eurasia Cup, it's such a good opportunity for me to spend time with players. That's going to be a great uh, task for me and try and retain that trophy that, that Dan and, and his team won. Captain Bjorn ended his tour with a message for the Asian team captain, Arjun Atwal. To my great friend Arjun Atwal, captain of the Asian team, I'm standing here in KL, don't see you anywhere, but in January I will. And you better bring your A-game if you're going to beat us. Besides Thomas Bjorn, Kale was graced by many big golf names earlier this month. The PGA Tour was in town for the CIMB Classic, which saw Pat Perez take a commanding victory over the strong field for his third career PGA Tour title. 2016 Order of Merit champion Scott Hend was part of the lineup. The 44-year-old was paired with 25-year-old Patrick Rogers, who received a signed glove from Hendy when he was just 10. I think it was back in like 03 or 04. It was one of my first PGA Tour events, if not the first that I ever went to. And I was a shy kid, but I wanted to be a PGA Tour player. So I was just out learning and watching and soaking it all up. And he came up to me and signed a glove for me. And it's something that I'll always have. It was awesome to play with him for the first time this week. Hope it didn't make him feel old. But uh, yeah, he, he inspired me. And it, it was very, very nice of him back then. And like I said, something I'll never forget. Chasing a hat trick, the Australian then travelled to join the rest of the Asian Tour field at the Macau Open the week after. But the man of the week turned out to be Gaganjit Bular. The 29-year-old's wire-to-wire victory at the Macau Golf and Country Club saw him become the youngest ever player to win eight Asian Tour titles. Working hard to also get there one day was Malaysia's Ari Irawan, who made full use of the lush amenities in his room to get more practice in. Thick curtains was exactly what Ryan McCormick and Athapon Sri Bunkeo needed on Saturday when something truly bizarre took place. My playing partners were up by the green to the right and I'm over on the eighth hole in the rough. So my shot was kind of blind, I had about 85 yards and I walk up there and Ari yells back to me, hey, you hit him in the top of the head. And I go, oh my gosh, you know, like what happened? So I see, I see him laying on the ground and he's completely, you know, like not moving. And I'm like, what is going on? Like, is he alive? You know, like whatever. And he was sitting there for probably a good 15 minutes laying on the ground, not even talking or anything. Uh, we had a medic come out to the golf course. There was a van driving all throughout. You know, I mean, it was a crazy scene. Like, it's probably the craziest thing I've ever seen. And he says, you know, that I'm gonna play. And I was like, that's crazy. He goes first. He's about probably 30 feet away in the fringe. He knocks it in. I mean, a guy just got up from being unconscious for like 20 minutes and knocks in the putt. It was wild. Uh, he played the rest of the round. He played really well. That was such a ridiculous, you know, thing that happened. In case you're wondering, Athapon is totally fine and went on the following week to Jakarta for the Indonesia Open, which was a historic week for Panapol Pitayara, who finally, after countless near misses, broke into the winner's circle. On the same day in Shanghai, it was Justin Rose making the headlines by producing one of the greatest comebacks in golfing history by overcoming an eight-shot deficit to win the WGC HSBC Champions on Sunday. But the real buzz earlier that week was behind the scenes between Matt Kuchar and Tho Tzu Chung, who traded their golf clubs in for table tennis rackets. Well, that's all I have for you today. Don't forget to catch us at the second leg of the Panasonic Swing this week at the Panasonic Open India and the Resorts World Manila Masters after that. Bye for now.